Welcome guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate to Cypress version 10 or above. So if you are using previous versions, then after version 10, you will see some configuration changes you have to make to your project. So code wise, it is still the same. There is no difference. You need to uh, make anything there. Only project structural wise, some change is required, which is just a five minutes thing, which I'm going to show you so that uh, you can uh, successfully migrate to the version 10 and still keep your tests running without any failures. Okay. So right now, let's say I have the version which is less than 10. So I'm going to up upgrade to the latest version, whatever available at this time. Okay. 10.2.0. So once I make the version upgrade, so you have to make npm install so that it installs that particular version, right? So when you do npm install, it will scan your entire package.json and wherever it thinks that that particular version is not there, it will go and get it. So in our case, we are going with Cypress uh, latest version. But do remember that Cypress keep on updating the version every day. Okay, every alternate day or every week, I would see some version number will get bumped. Okay, so that doesn't mean that things are outdated. So they'll make sure that they fix the bugs which are existing and also they provide support for the latest browser versions. But somehow version 10 have more changes which are project level configuration changes are updated. So that's why uh, every trainer in including me made a video to show you that what configuration breaking changes we have in 10. Okay, so looks like we have uh, successfully installed Cypress version 10. Now go ahead and open the Cypress test runner. So npx Cypress open, right? So Cypress open is the command which will help you to open the test runner file. So you might get like this saying that it looks like this is your first time using this. That's okay. Um, so when you land on this page, so here you can just say continue to Cypress 10. So the great thing is Cypress guys automatically identifies that previously you worked on the earlier version. So all the migration work they were ready to do for you. Okay. So as of now, so migrate existing specs from this folder to N2E folder. Okay. So click on this link. So it is asking that they have successfully migrated your specs from one folder to another folder. Okay. Next, they were changing the file name of index.js to e2e.js. Just a file name change. All right. Let them do for us. And here is the major change. So all the first two changes what we saw is just a folder name difference. Okay. Previously, they have index.js and they moved to e2e.js and this is from integration folder to e2e folder. So these two have nothing code change, just a folder names they changed. So there is no impact for us. So but here the third change is cypress.json. So previously we used it to have a JSON file like this, which is a global configuration file where you can set your environment variables, page load, timeout. So this is applicable to entire project level. So every test case follows the global level configurations what you set. So what they did is instead of JSON file, they were now doing this global configurations in JS file, which is JavaScript file. Okay. To bring into consistency, they changed this JSON file extension to JS JavaScript. So all the stuff, whatever you have here, you still do the same, but you will write inside this define config object. That's it. Okay. So that work also Cypress only doing for us. So you really need not worry about that. Okay. They were saying that we identified this, we will do it for this. All right. So we can simply say migrate the configuration for me and that's it. You are done. So you have successfully configured your project and converted that into version 10. But especially when you are watching Rahul Shetty lectures, um, the way how we designed our framework, there is one more change I recommend you to make. So right now, all the files are moved to E2E folder, right inside this. Okay, so what I want is, let's still rename this as integration only. Previously, we have uh, integration here. So let's not disturb that uh, path. Let it be still integration and everything. But when you change this, you need to come to your config.js file, which is new file, global configuration. Okay. So here you need to add one file. Uh, let me show you. It's a spec pattern. Okay. So here you will tell where your test files are located. Okay. So now your test files are in Cypress folder, right? On project level slash here integration. So from there, uh, slash examples, 
and when you expand this here where all your javascript files is there right so you can put star any so it represents any js file okay so like this you have to make update for your file so this is important guys because by default cypress tries to run the test cases present in e2e okay it created us by default right now you changed this name to integration so explicitly you have to tell in your cypress config js file that all my tests are present in this path okay cypress integration examples and in that i have all my dot js files by giving the key called spec pattern and another update is so if you have already watched my cucumber section so in cucumber section we will add one a plugin called cucumber file preprocessor but in the latest version after version 10 this plugin folder itself is not there so what all items you want to add in this plugin folder so those you will add directly in your uh, config.js file itself okay so by default for first time when you uh, set up version 10 you will have this empty inside this only you go and add this cucumber so previously all plugins which you want to load will go as part of plugins index.js file but they felt it as redundant and uh, all the plugins information now has to go directly in your global configuration.js file inside the method called setup node events okay so here we have uh, import statement that also you have to bring so what are these plugins basically so once you add these plugins these are loaded into your project before any test case started running okay so first it will come to this index.js file and scans and load these plugins into your test before your first test gets executed now in the latest version you can get rid of this plugins folder so if you start from scratch with version 10 you won't see this plugins folder at all so that's why i'm deleting it from there and that piece of code i am adding inside this setup node events so this change you will observe if you finish my cucumber section okay that's all guys so that's the two changes you need to make and now go and uh, close your cypress the test runner and open it freshly again so it will detect your configuration changes what you made for your spec pattern so just select end-to-end -end testing here this is newly introduced a uh, window Previ uh, previously we used to have only e2e but now they introduced something called component testing so that developers also can write some component tests for react application but as a qa you don't worry about it our focus is only on end-to-end -end testing so select this uh, component so here where you will land on so if you are willing to execute in chrome okay then go ahead and say start end-to-end -end testing in chrome so then it will open the test runner which you keep seeing in the previous version same thing it will open here also the only difference is they changed themes like black color theme and uh, this drop down option to select browser in the previous versions it's on the topmost right side they moved it little bit middle and uh, these options also spec run settings previously they should be on the header part they moved left side so all this doesn't matter for us okay ultimately all your tests are back and displaying here as usual if you don't see your test displaying here in the test runner so that means file what you provided in spec pattern is wrong now go back to vs code and uh, do a troubleshoot by going to your configuration file so here see the path if you have given correct because the tests what you see here are loaded from this path if you give this path wrong then you will not see the test correctly here so this test runner will not do any magic of finding out the test from your framework it will just look for the spec pattern where are my specs are present so here we are telling our specs are present in integration examples folder so what all specs you see here those will get loaded here so we are explicitly telling pull only files which are dot js extension so only those are coming here okay so if you are not seeing just troubleshoot if the path given is correct and then it will definitely display here now again go ahead and select any of your test and it will run as usual okay perfect so this is how you can successfully um, reconfigure your existing framework to the latest version code wise nothing changed guys did you see me touching any code no okay so just follow the instructions how i said and finally come back and change this e2e folder name to integration and in the config.js give the spec pattern and give the path to that js file that's it you are all set and you can continue working with latest version of cypress so this is a quick configuration change what they made and uh, i hope this video helps to do that thank you